a narcissistic relationship is a threesome. That is the title of this video. So, my name is Dr. Sami Baya. Please welcome back to my YouTube channel. Triangulation. That is what we are discussing in this video. Why a narcissistic relationship is a threesome. When you're talking about threesome in a narcissistic relationship, you're basically looking at the triangulation tactic or technique used by narcissists to play their manipulative games on their victims. We know that narcissistic people create a triangle to gain upper hand when they begin to lose control of the situation. Narcissist triangulation tactics are also known as the divide and conquer tactics. They play people against each other to gain power, to be, maintain power and to control everybody else. When you talk about triangulation, it is a harmful psychological and passive aggressive tool that narcissists use because it involves, sometimes it involves the narcissist complaining about you to someone else in an attempt to solve a problem in their favor. Sometimes the narcissist will flirt with other people to make you or to make their partner jealous. Sometimes this triangulation, the narcissist creates tension and rivalry between two people so that they can maintain control over the situation. And the main aim here is the narcissist wants to ensure that their needs are met. One thing about triangulation, it is very common in romantic love relationships because it allows, it enables the narcissist to have their needs met. That is the attention, the admiration. Um, they will get it without sweating, without committing to someone fully. So triangulation creates this emotional distance between people between between people and and this this allows them to forge emotional connections outside of the main relationship and this is what the narcissist need because it validates them so when you talk about narcissistic strangulation it is an intentional manipulation tool used to control a situation two people can disagree and a third person is pulled into the argument and this is what triangulation is all about so um narcissists love this triangulation they love this trust three something so that they can gain power and they can control things so when two people are put against each other it, it provides the narcissist with what they need most and what the narcissists need most is what we call narcissistic, narcissistic supply. They need that constant admiration. They need that constant attention. They need resources. Resources could be anything, including money. So they, this strangulation is used by narcissists. And the main aim is for the narcissists to get what they desire most. So, when you talk about triangulation, it is harmful because it can uh, it's extremely frustrating and disarming and you need to understand how to handle triangulation you need to understand this three something in a narcissistic relationship the main reason why the narcissist will do triangulation is because they're trying to distract people from the real issue or argument the narcissist is doing triangulation in order to tip the scales of the argument in their favor. They are trying to be to maintain their superiority. That's why they'll use triangulation. The narcissist is using triangulation to resolve the argument through that third person they're bringing the triangular the triangle. Sometimes they are trying to divert some of the stress from the argument into that third person. So why do narcissists? What are the other, what are the what are the, what are the other many reasons why narcissists love this triangulation? Why do they love this threesome relationship? 
is because they need to ensure that their needs are met. The narcissist only focuses on their needs. They will do everything and anything to make sure their needs are met. And that is why triangulation comes up or comes in handy. The narcissist also loves drama and kills because they thrive in those drama and confusion, in conflicts, because this distracts people from, or distracts even the narcissist from any difficult emotions they may be experiencing. So they, 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 they love it when two people are against each other. They love that kind of drama, that conflict. It is food to them. It is fuel to them. The narcissist also uses strangulation to demonstrate their control over others. They use strangulation to, to, to make sure that they have power over everybody around them, over those around them. Whatever In whatever kind of relationship they form, they need to have power over it. Now, when you talk about triangulation, examples could include uh, a narcissist may, may introduce a third party to create insecurity. And this makes you doubt yourself or to undermine your integrity. The narcissist also, they use triangulation, which is a form of emotional abuse to distract you from the real issue. So they play the victim to win the argument. And we know narcissists hate taking responsibility. They hate taking blame. They hate commitment. So through triangulation, it helps them escape responsibility. And that way they feel superior. Sometimes if the narcissist is triangulating their romantic partner, they are doing it to make them to make their romantic partner feel jealous. To create a power imbalance, maybe sometimes. So triangulation is an emotional abuse. And it can it can occur in any kind of relationship, whether it's a romantic relationship or a relationship at work. And the narcissist will be very happy to act as a messenger between you and another person. And at that, and while doing that, they, they make sure that they will make sure that there is limited or no communication between those two parties involved. And one strategy is the narcissist will always invoke the feelings of insecurity, feelings of jealousy to maintain control in a relationship. They'll gossip and tell you about how a co-worker keeps flirting with them. This is to make to make them appear desirable. It makes you feel insecure and it makes you feel afraid that your partner may leave you. Sometimes they tell you stories of how, how, how their ex treated them poorly. And their main aim here is to make you treat them better. It is for you to give them more attention. Sometimes they give you they use strangulation to, to, to make you have the message that you must treat them better to keep them. So, uh, sometimes if the narcissist wants to do away with you, they'll also triangulate you. So, triangulation basically is about controlling. And that's what the narcissist mean, needs most. So, In conclusion, triangulation is always it's all, it's all about the narcissist intentionally introducing a third party, such as their ex-partner, it could be their friend, a family member, into the relationship. And this third party will be a tool for the narcissist to create a sense of competition, jealousy, and insecurity within the, vic within the victim. So they'll compare you to the victim, I mean, they'll compare you. They'll compare you to the that to that third party, and that way, they undermine your self-esteem, and they'll create this tension and anxiety within you. This is the only way the narcissist feels 
in control over you so uh, sometimes this third party is brought in that relationship as a messenger as a confidant mostly these are the flying monkeys i've talked about in my videos thank you for watching this video i hope you've learned a thing or two um but before i go maybe we can uh, we can um we can uh, ask ourselves how do you break free from triangulation you can break free from triangulation through education educating yourself learn about narcissistic personality disorder and all the tactics narcissists use you can also break free from triangulation by building a support network you can break free from triangulation by setting boundaries focus on self care and seek professional help recognize when triangulation is happening learn to accept your role in the triangulation these are ways to break free from triangulation and again don't forget to respond and don't react in triangulation strengthen your own support system and know when to leave that relationship and don't forget to find a therapist thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my youtube channel God bless you.